exercises for your core. Again, we're kind of retesting everything you've known about doing core stuff. If you're getting bored from doing planks or the standard power for belly button press as you're extending your arms away, here's a different variation. Actually, it's a variation from Dr. Burnell who actually created this variation when you're extending your hands. So Lisa's gonna extend her hands. Her hands are wrapped around the band. It's probably a 30, 40 pound band as far as resistance. The band is tucked away from her. She'll come back down. That's your standard belly button press or pal-off press. Her lower back is loaded into the ground. If you have somebody has back issues or any of you guys have problems with your lower back, you can always do something. I always hear us echoing, you can do something in the gym even when you're injured. This is one of those drills you can definitely do to keep pressure off the lower back. So as she's extending away, Lisa's gonna extend, she's gonna exhale. The small of her back on this side is loaded into the floor. That way there's no chance of hyperextending or leaning into the lower back. Her glutes are tight, her abdomen is definitely tight, especially on the right side closest to you. Her internal external obliques and her rectus abdominis, her ab muscles are all firing to keep this all in one place. She has one straight line, as she comes down, she switches and extends back up. Breathing out, her upper back is firing to keep everything in a straight line. She's not overusing her shoulders to drive her hands up. She's squeezing her upper back and extending her arms up and outward. This is a great drill. Again, if you cannot have one, you don't have a ton of tools. Elise is just using a, you know, a 20, 30 pound band um, for resistance. Again, if you need more resistance, you move further away. If you have a cable pulley system while you're on vacation, you have the access to one of those. These are, again, a great drill. You pull the camera all the way down, you extend yourself all the way around. This variation, along with the standing variations, are great for internal external obliques. Again, core and make sure you keep your back flat to the floor and squeeze your butt. When we come back next week with the last variation, we're gonna show you a different drill and a different variation on the plank. It's called the hollow body plank. We'll see you guys next week.